Hey everybody, Jazzy here. Welcome back to another episode of Don't Starve Hamlet. Full release. Today we are starting a new series proper in the full release and the character is going to be the mighty, mighty new character, Wagstaff. Wagstaff is awesome. He makes, he's, he comes with his own uh, uh, collection of goggles to craft and uh, yeah, he's just a really powerful character. He's got the ability to craft uh, sort of a cheap version of the telelocator. Yeah, super powerful character from what I've seen. That said, I haven't played with him all that much, so I'm looking forward to learning about how to play as him. And I think I want to keep everything to default. I can't think of anything that I would want to modify. Nope. Maybe giant grubs to less? <laughs> These guys are a little overpowered. Nope, well, let's just keep everything as is. Let's just do it. Let's just hop into a new a new Hamlet world. Yes! <laughs> yes, I'm very excited to play as Wagstaff. The WX series in early access was so much fun. I learned a lot about playing this freaking game. It is a hard, hard game. And, uh, you know, every character comes with its own advantages and disadvantages. I picked WX because... The fact that Thunderbirds can zap you three times for overload is just makes up yeah, such an overpowered choice in this game. I think Wagstaff, even with his even with his advantages, might be a little more of a balanced approach to this DLC. He has perks that will make things more convenient, but not necessarily easier. I mean, he has to wear he has to wear goggles all the time because he's nearsighted. I mean, that is going to that is going to be a problem for us and for me just cuz i'm thinking of i want to i want to make sure that the quality of the video stays good so i don't want to i don't want to spend too much time with the goggles off just for the sake of recording a uh, a, a video that's a, a series that's not super blurry you know what i'm saying i'm not averse to taking it off at certain points but uh, that just means i'm not going to be wearing a tam shanter for a lot of you know a lot of the series we're going to have to find we're gonna have to find other ways to restore sanity, which is fine. I'm totally, I'm totally okay with with not, not relying on a Tam Shanter. See if we can get any any free, cheap flint around here. No, that's not flint. Tell me, there's another piece of flint around here. Come on, come on, come on. I guess there's usually usually only one piece. Oh man, is there even a pillar? I didn't even see a pillar. That's gross. All right. So for now, we'll collect things. Uh, my goals for this early game will be the same as my goals that I outline in uh, my little first first 11 days Hamlet guide. And that is, I want a stocking stick. I want to go to the BFB nest. Oh, that's the Pugless Island, eh? I'll hold on to this for now. I want to go to the BFB nest first thing. And then I want to find my way to the Palace Island. But first thing we need is a science machine. And to get the science machine, we're gonna need gold, and to get gold, we're going to need to find one more piece of flint so that we can mine boulders. All right, yeah, and also thinking about base location, I see out of the corner of my eye some fly traps. Awesome. Now for a visor, oh, that's actually, that's rather cheap. What do we need for this? A gold and a pigskin? And then for the the visor, we just need a cutstone. Wow, that's a uh, that's not super expensive. And here I was thinking I was gonna need doodads for 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 armor. That's, I mean, especially considering now that we've we've got the 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 ancient Hulk around here. Yeah, yeah, we're we're not gonna be want for rocks, eventually. All right. So, uh, yeah, let's just keep looking for flint. I'm gonna turn up these these stone slabs, hoping hoping to get one more piece of flint. Come on, flint! Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to move out of here, and then come back to the cave cleft later. Okay. So Wagstaff's dis major disadvantage, aside from the blurry, oof. Yeah, that's not that's not a very nice <laughs> not a nice disadvantage. Is he? Uh, he gains, he, he takes three health damage from, what do you call it? He takes health damage from uh, eating raw food. 
Which means, yeah, any raw food is gonna hurt him for three health. It's a bummer, but... You still gain... What is that sound? It's a weird sound. Very weird sound. So, like, say you eat a butterfly. Butterflies give you eight health back, right? So it kind of it kind of stacks on top of on top of what you would get, what you would lose by being Wagstaff. So if you eat a butterfly wing, you lose three health, but you also gain eight health. So it's a net of it's a net of five health gained. You still gain five health. I'm just gonna smack these guys a little bit because they're always an easy source of minerals. I don't want to knock them down completely. Oops. And also want to try. Oh right, that. Just as I get done talking about what not to eat, that means I'm not going to be doing a lot of, uh... <laughs> I'm not going to be chomping on all of the random seeds that fall on the ground. Okay, I gotta be careful. Don't eat the seeds, don't eat the ferns. Don't eat anything you don't have to. That was rather, uh, auspicious. Look at us. Look at us. And we might as well head, uh, yeah, let's, let's double back and check out the other... Uh, what? Oh. Weird. Check out the other uh, cave cleft. So we can still munch on aloe, and it still restores health, so... No, it does not. No, it does not. I might have been completely wrong with everything I just said. <laughs> I thought I got... Okay, yeah, they might have changed that, because I remember playing this in beta, and... If you ate butterfly wings, you got, like, five health back. And that does not seem to be the case anymore. I did not lose any health, but I didn't gain any either. So maybe... I don't... I don't know. Maybe Aloe got nerf? I'm not totally sure. I will not dwell on it, because we have more important things to do. Such as... Chop down a tree, find the... Find a Thunderbird, or find the Painted Sands biome. Get a little bit more minerals before we set down our first science machine. But then we can get to work, uh, we can get to work killing a flytrap stock and making our first, our first stocking stick. So I guess now would be the time to chop trees. And I'm focusing on the pink trees because they drop eggs, which we will need to go stop the apocalypse. Yes, we need eggs to stop the apocalypse and niter and eventually charcoal. All that fun stuff. And it's good, we're, we're being, being lucky with eggs thus far. No, thank you. We can prototype our science machine. Uh, we're good on... We're good on grass for now. I try not to pick too much grass at the beginning because... Once you get shears... No, we, we want to flip and then mine. Flip and then mine. Yeah, once we get shears, we get grass so much quicker. There's really no reason to, uh, to sweat it before that, before that point. Okay, there's the, wow, there's interesting world generation. Good, good. Still pick, still pick twigs and aloe. All the, all the twigs and aloe I come across. It's an interesting, uh, it's an interesting workflow getting back into the, the feeling of, of, <laughs> Talking continuously and without editing out anything, akin to a live stream. But uh, yeah, it's tricky because uh, you know I I got so used to being able to just say what I wanted to say and then cutting out to another part in the more extended uh, in the you know the the other series because obviously I was doing more tedious stuff that I didn't need to focus on. I wonder, maybe I don't need to wear these at night. Let's just see how it looks. It looks fine. I mean, I'll just be cut chopping in the dark anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Boop. Yeah, I really want to try, try, try to avoid doing this as much as I can. All right, buddy. All right. Now, can I finish chopping my tree? Thank you, thank you.
And... Eh, okay, us get a move on. Really want to find that painted sands turf around here somewhere. Out of my way, dude. I'm not even gonna bother with you for the moment. Perfect. Get that pick out of our inventory. Hmm. I'm thinking the painted turf, the painted sands turf, might have been the other way. Huh. 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 Yeah, might, maybe we can, uh, yeah, may, maybe we, if I, if I find even an Iron Hulk at this point, I probably will, because the, the only thing I really need before I start crafting is iron. Can you make a, is, is the doodad available? No, you still, you still need a science machine to make a doodad. <laughs> okay, yeah, I guess it's not over here. Okay. All right, so I'm curious about this. Doesn't do a damn thing for our health. That is so interesting. That is so interesting. There's no point in investigating too many of these trees now because even if I find something, I would have to dig it up to 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 unearth it. And I do not have a shovel prototyped quite yet. Where the hell is that painted sand turf? I'm guessing it's back the other way. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna just skip ahead a little bit. Okay, well, here's an Iron Hulk. I suppose we can grab some charcoal while we're here. You know what? I'm thinking about this. I'm thinking about this food situation. We might want to make one crock pot before we head over to the Palace Island. So I'm going to collect eight pieces of charcoal, six for a crock pot, and two for. Well, these guys are close together. Cool. Um, eight for. Uh, yeah, six for a crock pot and two for. Two for a drying rack. So I'll just grab one more. Wow, is that a third piece? These pieces are very close together. And here is the painted sands turf. Excellent. I'm gonna see if I can get away with just raiding this area for iron without having to farm any of the iron giants. Let's just give it a shot, see what happens. And actually before I, well, I'm not afraid of aggroing the gnats, I just want to make sure that we have a Thunderbird around here. Oh, oh. Peacock, we want to get you out of that grass. We do not want you in the grass. You're gonna have a bad time in there. Yeah, let's get you somewhere a little bit safer. I just want to make sure we have at least one Thunderbird that I can, I can bring the gnats to. If they decide to aggro on me. Yeah, and I don't, actually don't see a Thunderbird, so... That actually might have been... Yeah, we actually might not want to do that. Uh, if I can corner this guy, I will pick the feathers now while I can. Yeah. Oh, come back here, come back here, come back here. Come back, come back. Bro, I need feathers. I need your sweet, sweet feathers, please. Please. Come here. Come here. Get stuck. Get you stuck. I'm grabbing ore because I want to make a ball peen ham. Oh, 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 oh. They'll grow back. They'll grow back. Don't worry. But we need a gas mask. That's important. Oh, gross. We're going to be blurry, blurry eyed in the. Every time we go through the gas biome, the, the poisonous biome. That's. That's unfortunate. That is a little unfortunate. Let's map out the rest of this iron biome. I'm surprised there are not any Thunderbirds here. None whatsoever. This would not have been a viable location for... Or this would not have been a viable map for WX. Ew. Ew, I don't like that. 
Well, well, mind you. Oh, such a great source of rocks and, and iron and flint. Drops flint, right? And let's just see if we can get away with mining you. A lot of paying goldens around here. Don't you see nothing? You see nothing. I think there might be a scale to to how easily they aggro on you. In other words, um, <laughs> yeah, like if it's the beginning of a day, or if it's like the beginning of of the game. The earlier the day, I'm saying, I think the day count sort of uh, influences how likely they are to aggro on you. As long as we're here, we can we can drag you towards your friends. Mine you for... Well, oops, that was so stupid. Well, we probably shouldn't do that again. All right. Just to get that pick out of our inventory. That was stupid. Oh, uh, let's make our let's make our swag. I actually want to do this near some trees so that I can chop more trees for uh for alchemy engine stuff. Wait, we don't have enough for alchemy engine stuff. In that case. Oh, you know, there was some gold. There was a yeah, there was a gold guy right here. Oop, 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 oop. There was a gold guy over here. Let's go to that gold guy. Damn! One hit just takes takes all that health away. That was painful. That was really painful. All right. Well, are we near our spawn? Yeah. Let's let's set up spawn over here. I don't like this world generation. I really don't. I mean, I guess this area would make for a, a viable base, but ugh, I don't like it. I don't like it that much. Okay. Backpack. Uh, our doodads. At least one doodad. At least one doodad. We can drop some things for now. Uh, we're gonna want... A ball peen hammer. And shears. And shovel. Good. What else? Oh yeah, the drying rack. I think we have enough rope for it. Yep. And now... More light. That's an interesting sound you make. Very interesting sound you make there. Alright, we have not yet found any pig skin, so we can't really make... We can't make any other goggles. Whoa. Whoa, you're a little, uh, you're a little glitchy there, buddy. Is that, is that just what you do? Really? Interesting. Interesting. Well, anyways, uh, we can make a weapon. And I guess for now, I guess for now we need to do the log suit. It's unfortunate. I was hoping to, I was hoping to avoid having to do that. But you know, we're gonna want a log suit regardless. So we might as well make one. Alright, so with that we can do we can do our alchemy engine, I believe. We just need uh, we need a little bit more boardage. Always with the boardage. Yeah, I really want to get the flytrap stop stock hanging very, very shortly. But I think we should find we should we should find some pigskin and make some uh, make a visor first. All right, we can ditch this. Let's see. Uh, uh, all right, we can make the boards. Cool. Ugh, I do not like that health situation. Makes me want to go into... Makes me want to go into the hamlet before... Uh, yes, yeah, to, to see if we can get some healing stuff. Because that makes me a little nervous. Just a little bit nervous. Let's make a hammer. 
Hammer you. Get some of our stuff back. Ooh, and we can make, we can make a doodad in anticipation of something, right? What do we need for infroggles? A visor. A visor. Two torches. That's totally doable. Oh, I want to make that. I want to make that very soon. Okay, we can pick this stuff up. I'll set the alchemy engine down here for now. Um, I'll, I'll hold on to... Wait, can we make the... We can make a crock pot. Let's do that. Get our food situation a little bit more under control. Yeah, just to be, just to be totally safe, because I do not know... Oh, can I, can I place anything? Anything at all! Anything at all! Yeah, we can make asparagus soup, which will be, which will be a good, uh, source of healing. Let's do that. Let's do that. Ooh, I could even make two. I could venture to make two. I just need a little bit of, uh, something, some other food. Some other food. Ah, frogs, perfect. Wait. Wait, frogs drop frogs' legs, which I can not- Can I use that in the crock pot? <laughs> okay. Food. Food. Food, food, food. Nope. No. I think, uh... Oh! Wait a minute. We're gonna be going to, uh... We're gonna be going to fight a hippopotamus. And, oh, perfect, perfect. This, this will, this will do fine. Snake meat. Snake meat is always, is always neat. Thank you. And I believe we can do asparagus soup like this. And two sticks, I believe, I hope, I hope, hope I didn't mess anything up. All right, let's make our, nope. Big fail there, okay. <laughs> Maybe we needed two vegetables. Like that. Experimenting. Please no more wet goop. Please. Please no more wet goop. That was a... That was a bit of a derp. This will help. This will help. Okay. We gotta get some more grass and then, uh... Oh yeah, uh, make our log suits and then go fight a fly trap. Get our stock. Get our stock. Okay, two rope and log suits. Great. Let's go grab this stock. It'll be good to get, it'll be good to get some meat also because yeah, my hunger is getting a little low. Maybe we'll fight you first. And then we'll fight your big buddy. Well, we're going to have to because you're going to attack me. And I got meat. I got meat. Look at me. I got meat. I got meat. I got meat. <laughs> Yeah, baiting this guy is always a, uh, always a risky venture. You know, rushing a birdcage might also not be a bad idea because this leafy meat is going to be fairly useless to us. We can't, I mean, we could eat it, it'll just hurt our health. And we're gonna need, like, asparagus soup to regain it. Yeah, sure. But it looks like we might have to eat, yeah, we might have to eat raw food. Regardless right now Because hunger damn hunger What do you know? Hunger is a thing Okay, well, we're learning we're learning things Get this drying ASAP Cool I'm gonna hold on to these things I'm gonna hold on to Nectar all right curious nectar all right at least it doesn't hurt us Restores a little bit of, restores a little bit of whatever. Uh, can make a, really we can't make, oh, we need more, we need more rocks. Let's get more rocks. 
right now. Make our fire pits, place it wherever for now. Cook these guys up. Oof. Oh! 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 Cooked meat is fine? Okay, that's good to know. That's very good to know. Cooked meat is totally fine. Curious. If I cook seeds... It's fine! It's totally fine! Poison- cook poison dart for our legs? Hell no! <laughs> Not a chance! <laughs> Hell with that! Okay, so that means I can eat cooked asparagus and it's fine. It doesn't hurt me. Okay. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, let's go find us a hippo to, to slaughter. Okay, so that's that takes a bit of a bit of a strain off knowing that I can cook I can just cook raw foods and eat it. It's not like it's not like I, I'm reliant on crockpot foods. Like, well Morley arguably is reliant on crockpot foods, but he also just I mean he doesn't he doesn't hurt from eating crockpot foods, he just uh non crockpot foods, he just doesn't benefit as much from it. Oh well. Okay. We are running a little behind. Let's go let's go work on uh, let's go work on this hippo hippo situation. Pick up some some stuff for food. Any basically any, anything I can make into come on, come on Alright. Alright, let's go grab this hippo. Here you are. Hey, come over here, buddy. I need you to come to shore. I need you to come to shore. Hmm, how do I lure you over here? Maybe there's another herd. More conveniently located. Oh, you're moving, you're moving. Are you coming over here? Hmm. I can make a boat and come out to you. I mean, I'm gonna need to make a boat regardless, so... Let's chop some trees and make a boat. Oh, actually, I can just dig up this this log, and that'll be enough for a boat. Oops. Log raft. Okay. Oh, perfect. Perfect. And you know what? You're gonna help me uh, knock some of these guys down, because... Yeah. Come here. Yeah, this will be a good, uh, good opportunity to, to knock this stuff off without burning it. The fewer, the fewer weevils we can have around here, the better. And it's also, I can also lure this guy away a little bit from his friend. Oh man, these guys are so good. Go away, go away. Man, I'm gonna have to root, uh, lure you farther over. Once we get the thumper, I mean, I was, I was gonna say, like, hippos are great for farming trees, but we're gonna have a thumper. We're gonna have a thumper. We will have no need for hippos. Come here. Just want, I just want to kill you. Oh. Come on, come on. There we go. Alright, there's our antler. Now we just gotta get the quills. And you're gonna be... Oh, you're gonna... You're gonna move location, ain't ya? Ain't ya? We better clean this up at some point. Oh no, you're not moving location. Interesting. Well, we had to make the boat regardless. Okay, for... Pl for... To make our bird whistle, we need three platypine quills. And what I generally li generally like to do is leave one as bait. Oh, but the pogs. The pogs are going to eat it. Crap. All right, let's just see if we can grab one out of here. This is a small pond. Hoping to spawn a platypine. Oh, no, it's a little bit larger. And the lotus plants will be good for sanity. Awesome, I can cook lotus plants for sanity. I was I was a little worried about that because yeah I didn't think I'd be able to do get away with that without uh, without losing health. All right, let's let's drop one as bait, just one, just one, just one. And I can also get reeds while I'm out here. So bird a bird cage would be nice. Where are the platypines? Where are them platypines? Oh, there they are. 
I see you. You're going for it. You're going for it. And we murder. Stun lock. Please drop three. Drop three. Drop three. Uh... Nope. We need one more. Oh, actually, we can uh, drop another lotus flower. Where should we drop it? There. Ugh. That was unlucky, but it's fine. It's fine. I really hope we can uh, spawn another platypine. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, nope. Cool. Nice having a paw ne right next to the piggy biome. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. <sighs> Alright, he saw nothing. Alright. Now, you're gonna eat these guys. But you're also going to eat these guys. Are you going to target this? Where are you going, man? Where are you going? There's a lotus flower over here. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Go for it, man. Alright, so we just need one for our bird whistle. And while I'm here... Oh! My goodness. My goodness, dude. My goodness. All right, let's grab let's grab eight reeds while we're here, so we can make the bird cage. Hello, Epo. And oh yeah, there's a patch of reeds over there. Nice having these reeds so close to uh, the cultivated biome and the the pig houses. Uh, I don't want to damage the boats. Don't want to rock the boat. All right, cool. Now let's head back to our alchemy engine, make our bird whistle, and get the hell over to the BFB island. Sweet. Yeah, I really hope this is... I hope this is going to be enough time to find the palace hamlet. It might be cutting it close. It might be cutting it close. But just hoping we find a pith hat when we get to the, uh, when we get to the hat shop over there. Yo, go, uh... Go, go, go multiply yourself. Go multiply. Alright, uh, where's our stuff? Over here? The, uh, the thing, the, the, the stock of six should be ready shortly. I'm guessing by the time we get back from the BFB island, it should be ready. How sweet would that be if, like, this cave cleft led to the BFB island? How cool would that be? Oh, our stock and stick is ready! Excellent. All right, let's make the bird whistle. Boop, boop, boop. Excellent. Excellent. What can we make with this? We can make the weevil, uh, oh, we can make the hard shell tacos. Hang on a sec. I want to check the recipe on that. Okay, we want hard shell tacos. Wait a minute. We also want a torch. We also want a torch. Yeah, hard shell tacos for sure. Um, that will give us... That's a good source of healing and health. And health. So we definitely want them. And it's just one vegetable and, uh... And what can the filler be? Can the filler be, like... Lotus root? Can I use that? I can't. What can the filler be? The filler can be anything. It can be a twig. Sweet! Hard shell tacos, I'll take it. Oh, I did have a... I did have a torch. derp a derp Okay. So now, we can drop some things. We will not need these things. And we do not want these things where we're going. I will... Uh, we can leave all this stuff. Great. Great. Okay, cool. And I'm going to cook up the rest of these lotus flowers. Get, uh, I think we can get health back by doing that. So that'll be our food as we go to the BFB nest. Which we will do... In the next episode, we hope uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try making some these first uh, these first episodes a little bit longer just so we can get through the early part of the game a little bit faster. Uh, and I'm also gonna do less cutaways so we can see the the actual gameplay. <laughs> uh, anyways, hope you are in going to hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you enjoy the episodes to come in this series. I'm very excited to be making it for you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.